At Opal Healthcare, we believe language is important, so you might notice we use words a little differently. For example, we say care community to describe residential aged care homes. So instead of saying facility or home, in this video you'll hear us using the term care community. In the era of information technology, it feels like everything can be solved with a click of a button. Everything except those very human things, like when you or a loved one need to think about residential aged care. It can be unclear what to do, who to talk to, making one feel a little lost at sea. Wherever you find yourself along this journey, these five steps will help you navigate your way more easily. First things first, it's essential to find out your eligibility for government support. You'll need to contact the Aged Care Assessment Team or ACAT. Go online or give them a call to find out more. Alternatively, speak to your GP about aged care. And as part of the assessment, someone from the Aged Care Assessment Team will contact you to see how you're managing your day-to-day -day living. Now that your assessment is sorted, you can begin looking for a care community that suits you best. It's a big decision, so talk to friends, family, your GP, your social worker about their experiences and recommendations. You may even decide to engage an aged care consultant to help you. You should always tour care communities you're considering to get a feel for the place. Prepare yourself for the tour by making a list of questions you're keen to ask and take note of the things that matter to you. Now you've seen what's out there, you have to do your sums. What are the costs and charges likely to be? We've created a whole video just to help you figure out the maths. View our video on financial considerations to gain a better understanding of aged care fees and charges. Sometimes your financial circumstances affect the direction you choose to sail in. Almost every aged care community will require you to fill out an application form and submit your ACAC assessment. They'll let you know if they have a suitable bed available and if they can meet your individual needs. Financial and health decisions are very important and in case you're unable to make these choices for yourself, you need to nominate someone you trust to do it on your behalf. If you're acting on behalf of a parent, partner or friend, you may be asked for a power of attorney or an enduring guardian document. Your lawyer will be able to guide you through this. Once you have found a care community which meets your needs, the final step of your journey is signing the residential agreement, which outlines the legal terms and conditions of your arrangement. It's crucial you understand the fine print. You may choose to have a lawyer go through this with you before signing. This will also give you peace of mind. That's what your aged care journey should be about. Peace of mind and comfort that you've made the right decision for you and your family. We're here for you every step of the way. Visit opalhealthcare.com.au or call us.